Hi guys, it's Sean here and welcome to my vlog and today is day 8 of VEDA and today I want to talk to you about branding or typing in the acting world. I'm part of this Facebook group and it's a group full of actors and casting directors and agents and all the good people in our industry. And it's a group that's really beneficial because it's a lot of dialogue between all of us in the industry, especially about topics within our industry and we are able to provide each other's feedback about our materials and we get to discuss topics and current trends of what is happening in our industry. A fellow agent had put up a post about branding and types and how actors could use it to their benefit in the industry. And I found that there were two sides to this story. There was the creative side, or the act, or what I call the actor side, and then there was the business side. Now, essentially, this industry that we're in is show business, so you need to think of us as products in a business. Unfortunately, a lot of artists, and I call them artists because they're all about being creative, don't seem to want to be able to do that, or they can't let the artist side go. Their argument against the branding slash type casting part of our industry is that they're trained in acting they're trained to be able to play every single part and every single role and they sh and they should be able to do that if they were just given the chance however as an actor myself i agree to a certain extent but i also believe that everyone has their limitations and that's where i feel the branding side comes in i'm in a fortunate position where i get to be both an actor and an agent and i get to see both sides of the coin from behind the scenes. In the brief section, even as an actor, before I was an agent, I always saw myself as a product because that got drilled into me quite early on in my career. And from the business perspective is there are, there are branding and there are uh, stereotypes for a reason, whether it's based on look, on personality, they exist. And unfortunately, a lot of people do fall into certain types and brands that they don't want to be part of. And I get that because you are creative, you are an artist, your job is to act. And a lot of artists and a lot of us actors want to be able to play outside our part, outside of our brand, outside of our type. However, that's not always the case. And so whenever I speak to my clients or any other actor who wants to discuss this and debate it, because I'm always happy for debate, because it doesn't get disrespectful, I'm more than happy to have a debate with anyone. I explain it like a safe zone. So your type is your safe zone. If a brief were to come in and that was your type, then you were, you know, more than likely to get an audition for it. And you could play it quite naturally because that is who you are or you're quite close to that type. Now, I find that a lot of the big time actors who are out these days did their time in their safe zone. Another reason why I find it's a safe zone is because if you can keep playing those types consistently early on in your career, you can build yourself a fan base, you can build yourself a career, you can build yourself credits, you can create a start to your career safely rather than taking these big risks earlier on. Therefore, later on in your career or midway into your career, you're able to branch out and break away from those types. I don't feel like you'll ever get that type for your whole life. I, I, I don't, I haven't found an actor yet who has been stuck in that type for their whole career. You know, I feel like there are actors who've done it for the majority of their career, but not their whole career, like every single project. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head anyway. And the good thing with these types is that with it being in your safe zone, you can take big advantage of it. Whereas I feel like if you fight against the type and fight against the brand consistently and early on, I feel like you take a very big risk. I mean, if you take the risk, there will definitely be a huge payoff if you get the payoff. But more or less, I find that there's less of a payoff and more risk. And casting directors won't, won't even see you. Sure, I feel like, yeah, your, your agent or your manager could push you 110, 120% outside of your type. But I feel like that's you pushing against the current. Whereas going with your type, you're floating with the current and you're able to go with it and take advantage of it. At the end of the day, your agent's job is to sell you. 
if the brief is asking, okay, let's use soft drinks for as an example. If the brief is asking for a bottle of Coke and I've got a bottle of Fanta and I'm like, here's a bottle of Fanta and the bottle of Fanta has the best ability to disguise itself as Coke. It's still a soft drink. It's still liquid. It's still bubbly. It's just got a different taste. It's got a different flavor. It's got a slightly different look, you know, but it's still the same thing. More often than not, you're not going to get hired. Your essence, the energy isn't the same as what's being asked for. And that's essentially what your type is, your brand is. And that's why you get put into that type because that's who you are. And it's kind of asking like you to change who you are. I mean, yeah, acting is you playing someone else. The apple can't fall far from the tree in this case. Not until you're really experienced and you're an amazing actor that then you can fall far from from the tree but i think early on and this is where i find that actors get caught up is that when they don't even have a name or they don't have many credits they already want to be at a level where they can ch pick and choose their roles but you can't do that because a lot of these celebrities and these a-class actors are having roles written for them you know writers are writing scripts with with an actor already in mind and then that gets pitched to that agent that's representing that actor. And then it's up to that actor to say yes or no, you know, but early on in their career, they don't have that luxury unless you win the actor's lottery and you get a role straight off the bat with a three movie deal, which does happen, you know, then you, you may be afforded that luxury, but in 99% of cases, that just doesn't happen. I don't know if I'm coherent <laughs> enough to have made my argument clear. I mean, I do speak from both sides, but my, my point is, I'm for the branding and the and the types. I mean, as an agent, we still submit outside of type. We do do take the risk. That's for sure. You you can't not. You know, you have to push a little bit. You have to push the boundaries. You have to see where those boundaries are. Yeah, let me know down in the comment box below what your stance is, and even if you're not in the acting industry, what would your stance be? Well, what what do you think? Give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.